My name is Patty McCormick. I'm the author of Never Fall Down, which is Arne Chorn Pond's story of surviving the Khmer Rouge and then going on as a young man to preserve Cambodia's traditional music. I didn't know a lot about the Khmer Rouge before I met you. I remember what I read as I was, uh, I guess I was in college at the time, but it was hearing your individual story that really brought the whole thing to life for me. To tell you the truth, I never thought about it. I mean, I, I, I was adopted in America and have lived here so many years already and just uh, feel, feel scared of sharing the story to a person that will be doing this intimate book and mm -hmm. will be sharing all over. I know that this book will be all over the place. Mm -hmm. So um, it was a hard decision for me. It was really a privilege to go to Cambodia and see all of it, to see your childhood home and see the joy that you took in showing me where the cinema used to be and where yeah. you and your little brother used to dance <laughs> yeah. for a spare change yeah. and to see your family's home where the opera was. And then also to go to Wat Eich, yeah. which was the prison camp, and see the fields where you worked as a child and where you played music. And witness a lot of killing. And then also the, the, the area where you were fighting as a, as a child soldier. And, and like a witness, I feel like you're not only a witness but to, to what I went through, but also find out, f find out many things that I don't even know about myself from, yeah. through other people. Yeah. From other people like this ex Khmer Rouge who knew me very well. And he told you about many things that I need to find out about my own, my, myself. As a Cambodian uh, survivor and a child soldier, and I, want, I myself would like to become a man of peace if I can. And I think through this book, it's healing process for me that first I have someone that I trust and write this story. Um, I think you also have uh, the same goal, maybe the same mm -hmm. uh, intention for this book. I mean, the young people, especially American young people, need to know mm -hmm. about why it happened, why Americans bombed Cambodia before Pol Pot. The history is important to us, that mm -hmm. we are responsible in what we were doing mm -hmm. to other people. Uh, after all, we all human beings, we live in the same planet. You know, with young people in America who would like to read, and I also adults, I like adults to read also because it's, I think, um, I don't want any child to go through what I went through.